workflow. So in this example, let's try to create wall shadows for architecture walls. Uh, for this purpose, I will use this Revit project and let's try to use uh, created shadows from um, manufacture materials. In this case, I can choose some examples for walls from Rockwool Lithuanian project of material description you can download and you ju can just copy these uh, examples uh, you can see here wall shadow multi-category material shadow part material shadow wall material shadow and part shadow and you can use it in your project it's in Lithuanian some parts so you just can just uh, go to settings and change parameters. So how to copy? You just select objects, press Ctrl C, Ctrl C. In, in your project you open any any of sheets and you just Ctrl V and press OK and schedules are copied in your project. Then you copy your shadows, they should appear in, in your shadow quantity list. So let's uh, open wall shadow and let's modify settings in here. So the first part which represents identification of the wall. So in our case we can just skip this part and we can or we can modify it according to our wall so first i want to select wall shadows okay and i will use different template no templates uh, so i can modify all the parameters so from here I can see it should take information for my walls. So mark. So I change this part to mark. Uh, name and technical parameters. Type mark. Count. area and heat transfer coefficient calculated from Revit. And that's all. I just made these changes. I press OK and all my fields changed. Uh, next I want to calculate only walls for my architecture. So I can put maybe category So in this case, I don't see category. Okay, so it will calculate all my walls. So of course I should, I can see from here, I maybe can use sorting tool, mark, type mark, and let's put additional, just type parameter. So I can sort it by type and let's hide this type parameter yeah 
so mainly I have two type of my walls and from here I can see which parameters are used name and technical parameters I can modify and from here I can see type comments and description so this is combined parameter which is created using this combined parameter so I need to fill my full information or oh, I can just choose another wall which has some additional information let's say this one and you can see I have my wall type and I have some description and I can put my uh, marking for these walls let's say 0 1 and for other walls 0 2 or I can mark each wall by different mark number and internal walls let's put some additional information and let's press type edit type and I can put in description information about the structure of my walls so I use So it will will be internal partition wall and type comments, concrete units, and other parts will be plaster, plaster, and plaster. Apply. Okay. So I can see some information in my. Uh, name and in my technical parameters section and let's say the type of this wall will be 0 2 so from here I just delete and use wall shuttle and I have main parameters the thickness of the wall and uh, descriptive information quantity and you can use this as your template for your whole schedule.